How's it going, everybody? Today I'm reviewing Season 2, Episode 16 of Gotham, Prisoners Again. Spoilers for this episode. If you've not seen it, go watch the episode and come back here. So this episode opened up really nicely. It had a great montage of Gordon kind of dealing with the whole prison life, and uh, I enjoyed that quite a bit. And we also got the whole penguin and dealing with his family and that whole thing. So it kind of focused on two storylines, which I liked. I don't like when Gotham tries to handle too much. Uh, I like when it's kind of just focuses on two particular storylines. It's not Game of Thrones, so it just it doesn't have that going for it. But this one episode just didn't execute it the way I wanted it to. First of all, it was a very predictable storyline. I pretty much knew every beat that was going to happen in this one. Uh, I mean, all cultivating in Penguin faking his death and Penguin's father being killed on both sides. You kind of saw that coming. Uh, there's one twist in there that I did enjoy, but for the most part, it was very predictable um, in the way it was executed. While this is going on, though, Bullock is basically trying to find a way to get Gordon out of prison. Gordon's having a tough time. He's a cop. He's in now the F wing, and he, it, things aren't going well for him. So I like Bullock basically going out on a limb, trying to find a way that he can find a way to clear Gordon's name. Of course, Riddler thinks he's won his little mind game, but it's not exactly the case. And out of nowhere, Bullock goes to find someone to try to help get the inside man, you know, fake Gordon's death. And he goes to Falcone, which is cool. I, I In season one, I didn't like the whole Falcone Maroney thing because it extended from very first episode to the very last one. I thought they could have switched it up a little bit. It just got very stale and repetitive. But bringing him back here out of the nowhere, I really enjoyed that. I love seeing him. Uh, hopefully he sticks around a little bit. Uh, I might. It seemed like it was just a one-off, though. Also, at the end of the episode, when Gordon's trying to decide, oh, you can either go to like Europe or go far away, or you can stay in, in Gotham, and he has to really ponder his decision, we all knew the answer to his decision the moment the question was asked. It was, he's going to stay in Gotham. It wasn't rocket science here, Gordon. Come on now. Like, and it, you, you pondering the question, you know, you could have saved your, your buddy who was, like, beat up. That I also didn't buy, really, the whole guy he cared about in prison just yeah didn't work for me meanwhile on the penguin front he's trying to deal with family life uh you can tell that the other people whose father has is with and her kids they're out to they're out to get him basically and they they find out that he is a penguin but uh not before a penguin confesses and says no i'm i'm i've done bad things but his father's okay with it he's all good with it and of course we we get this weird seducing scene with uh, Penguin's half-sister, stepsister, I guess it would be because they're not blood-related. And uh, there's, there's trying to find out tons of ways just to get this to happen. And as soon as I saw Melinda Clark in this season, in this episode, or the past two episodes, that is, I knew she's a villain. She, she always plays a villain. I know she's typecast, kind of, uh, whether it be, like, the OC or whatever else she pops up on. She's always kind of plays that villain, crooked, you-don't-like-her type character. So... It was no surprise again that Penguin's father would get poisoned. You obviously knew Penguin. If he did get poisoned, you knew he would have gotten help or something like that. But uh, as it so happens, it is Paul Rubin's turn to die. It was nice to see the father-son bonding though between them and kind of coming together. So it just it hurts a little bit more for Penguin and kind of his fall back into craziness. You you can kind of see that coming. But uh, yeah, overall the episode it was it was fine. It was fine. It, I wouldn't say I'd call it good. It was fine. It was passable. Uh, I like that it did focus on two storylines, but at the same time, the execution of it didn't quite work. And I was going to get very angry at the episode if, indeed, Gordon decides, no, i got to stay in prison, because then they would have made the whole episode pointless, and I thought he might do it. I'm like, don't do this. This makes this whole episode pointless if you decide to stay in prison, because you're back to square one. Thankfully, that didn't happen. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on the episode in the comment section below. Again, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos each and every week. That is it, and I will talk to you all later.